I'm Jackie Kostek and right now on your 13 Action News Update, security is being enhanced at a Nevada synagogue after a deadly attack on a synagogue in California. A Metro cruiser was stationed outside a Jewish gathering on Paradise near Flamingo last night. The Anti-Defamation League and Nevada's Jewish Federation immediately put out a security alert informing rabbis and other Jewish leaders about the San Diego shooting. Valley teachers are calling on lawmakers to fund schools and educators before the le legislative session ends in Carson City. Teachers, parents, and even students rallied in downtown Las Vegas Saturday. More than a thousand community members showed up with signs chanting, Fund Our Schools Now. Right now, there's a bill on the table that would increase teachers' salaries. Six Democratic presidential candidates visited Las Vegas Saturday for the Service Workers Union Forum. Senator Kamala Harris, Amy Klobuchar, Beto O'Rourke, Julian Castro, John Hickenlooper, and Senator Elizabeth Warren all attended the event. They promoted their solidarity, solidarity with workers focusing on wages and labor. I'm meteorologist Gina Cancellari, and we have a hot Sunday in store. Here's a look at the high temperatures we are expecting today. Just about everybody in the low 90s, which again is above average for this time of year. So it will be a hot Sunday. Then we have a stormy Monday in store, and the wind will stick around for us on Tuesday as well, thanks to a storm system moving through. Here's a look at your seven day planner, and it does show a breezy Sunday for you and hot. As we move into Monday, rain is expected. The breeze will stick around, and cooler weather 78 degrees is the high on Monday. Then as we move into Tuesday, it sticks around too for that day. And then May is on Wednesday. Lots of sunshine and high temperatures bounce back up into the 80s, ending the week with a lot of sunshine and highs back to 90. Jackie? Gina, thank you. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our KTNV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.